But the song ended suddenly for Johnny and for Natalie. After two weeks in a coma, Natalie died. It was a shocker for everyone in the tight-knit Austin music scene and a confusing case for police. We asked the Army for a response. The Army declined, but 48 Hours obtained a sensitive Army document through the Freedom of Information Act that shows that John Superior did not see his action as a suicide attempt. He gave me my, my first Bambi Award, which is sort of like the Oscars in America, but it's in Germany, so I was very excited to receive that. I was saying that your business dealings are spiritual, that they're because you're trying to do good, not become a billionaire? So you were in charge of recruiting patients to go to the clinic. Why? Uh, why did the clinic need patients? We were sort of flying by the seat of our pants, but at the same time, you know, we're working with pros. I mean, Pearl Jam's whole, you know, crew was down there helping us. Yeah, she's, over the years, once in a while, she has co-hosted, yes. In 2010, I think, was maybe the second time. Because when there are a million laws, if you give the authorities the power to selectively enforce, they can pick on the people whose religion they don't like. <laughs> Cheney, come on, hello. A couple of ones I wanted to hang on to. But we got, we got some we can do ghosts of. Yeah, we got some mileage out of it. So this yeah. is the sad underbelly of comedy. I'm ready to get in the ring again if there's another Morton Downey Jr. He felt haunted by, by what he didn't say. Uh, um, that night and in the subsequent days and weeks that followed Natalie Wood's death. I talked to the ATF and they said that, that uh, Hodge farmed the work out to... Uh, That's what's been reported in, in affidavits, that he had somebody else do that for him. And you look divine. Thank you, John. Thank you for your lighting. 